the diagnosis of epilepsy is usually clinical. So basically, you don't need to have any tests to make a diagnosis of epilepsy. It's based on the history that parents give us uh, and a video footage if the parents bring it to us. Just by looking at what happened to the child, the diagnosis can be made. But at times, various tests are arranged to identify the cause of why your child has a seizure and also to understand what type of epilepsy it is uh, even better. So the most common test that is used is uh, called as EEG or, or electroencephalogram. Um, what happens during that is your child is brought in and um, there are some electrodes or some sticky tapes that are put onto the, the head of the child um, and the electrical activity of the brain is studied. It takes 30 minutes at times 40 minutes to do the tests. Sometimes the younger children are put to sleep because they can't stay still. And um, again, the test lasts for 30 or 40 minutes and we can study that uh, very clearly. Um, here at our center, we do uh, a number of such uh, EEG uh, variants. Like you can have a standard EEG where uh, it is done just for a period of 30 minutes. There's something called as ambulatory EEG or prolonged EEG, which uh, goes on for 24 hours. Uh, it is attached to a child, the child is taken home and then brought back the next day with the unit and the whole 24 hour period brain activity is studied. Sometimes what we, we do what is called as video telemetry. That is a child is admitted to a hospital and the event, if it's happening on a regular basis or a daily basis, is studied. So EEG is one of the crucial tests for um, understanding the, the type of epilepsy a child has. Sometimes uh, MRI scans are arranged. Now, MRI scan is uh, understanding the brain structure. And in younger children, the child has to be put to sleep. Uh, but in older children who are 7, 8, 9 or above, kind of age group, they um, can have the MRI without any sedation. And what it tells us, it, it gives us a structure of the brain and identifies any abnormality or malformation that might be present in the brain. Um, apart from this, uh, some blood tests are arranged to rule out uh, the common uh, metabolic disorders or disorders of uh, various salts in the blood. Um, and this is a panel of blood tests that we do. And I think in terms of investigations, that is, um, these are the three group of uh, tests that we do to understand the, the, the kind of epilepsy a child has.